So under third angle, you need to note the following as well. It has the rules. So given a 3D object, which is that one, the same one from working with, it has those elevations. You have the front elevation, end elevation, and the plan elevation. When you have that, you first center the front view. So you center your front view like that. And then the rules are as follows. What you see on the right, draw on the right. So for third angle, what you see on the right, you put it on the on the right. So if this is your front view, your end view is to your right there. So when drawing in third angle, your end view should appear on the right. Okay. This is the plan view or the top view. What you see on top, you draw on top of the front elevation. So the plan view in third angle appear on top, which is that one there. Okay, yeah, this point is saying what you see on the left, you draw it on the left, but what has been indicate, indicated here is the end view on the right. There's nothing on the left, but if it was on the left, meaning this view would have been that side. Okay, so those are the basic rules you need to note in third angle. Once you know this, then we can proceed with an example. The example says, the figure below shows an, an isometric projection with elevations indicated draw the plan elevation, front elevation, and end elevation in first angle projection. Okay, so this is the figure having those elevations. Plan, elevation, front elevation, and end elevation. So let's look at a solution. So on our solution, this was the question. First step is draw the three boxes following the layout of the third angle projection. So with third angle, we have the we have the front elevation with the plan on top because we are saying what you see on top you draw it on top what you see on the right you draw it on the on the right so this is the plan but these boxes you don't just draw them anyhow they take dimensions of these so for the front you should take the dimension that length and that base so these are the ones this length and that base so that's just a box representing that for the plan elevation it should take those dimensions this is what you're having here for the end elevation you should also take the dimensions of the end elevation so this would be your box obviously when a question comes when you have a question it will have those dimensions they will, they will put dimensions there so you measure them like that so you draw the boxes representing that and then you go to step number two which is saying draw the front plan and end elevation so if you are to view this 3d object from the front from the front what do you see so when you view it from the front, you would see something like that. Okay. When you view it from the end elevation, you obviously see something like this. Okay. And then when you view it from the plan elevation, you would see something like that. Okay. Putting in mind that these dimensions, like for the plan, they take those dimensions these dimensions for the end elevation should take the dimensions for the end de elevation and the dimensions for the front as usual would take the front elevation dimensions okay once we do that we go to step number three so this has been drawn step number three is saying draw the projection lines from the front elevation these projection lines are vertical lines and the horizontal lines so from the vertical from the front elevation, you throw vertical lines going all the way. Whatever line which is vertical, let it go up. From this one, whatever line which is horizontal, horizontal, let it go like that. Okay? But putting in mind there is a circle here, so even vertical lines should be projected from the circle, going all the way down. Here. So you have that. Okay? In that way okay upon doing that you go to step number four just saying draw a 45 angle 45 angle line from the front elevation so from this you do a 45 angle here which is that one this should be 45 degrees okay once we do that, we go to step number five, which is saying project lines from the front elevation and end elevation to meet in the 45. So you start projecting. So from this one, you project horizontal lines going all the way. 
they meet this line from this one you draw vertical lines they should go all the way up to there but these which are like this they should also go down to meet this one so what we are having is this okay that 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 and that on doing that now obviously we have what we need you just need to highlight what is what is hidden so you come to the last step which is step number six represent hidden features by dotted lines so as you can see if you view the front elevation meaning you it from here there's a hole there it's there but you can't see it so we represent it by dotted lines if you have to view the end elevation there there is a hole but you can't see it so there will be dotted lines somewhere and there will be lines there which are dotted they are there but you can't see them same ap applies on the plan view plan view quite right yes you see something like this but there are these this point it goes all the way that side and this point it goes all the way that side when you view on top you won't see it but since it's there you represent it by dotted lines so you have these now So this would be a solution to this 3D object in isometric projection. Okay, hope this video will help people draw objects in isometric. Okay, we have an assignment. Draw the front plan and end elevations of the given isometric projections in 3D, in third angle projection. Okay, so we have those two questions. As I told you a question when you have a question actually it will have dimensions so this is the first question you have all those dimensions so in doing those boxes you make sure you follow those dimensions which have been given same applies to this one it has all the dimensions so for this one this part which is labeled x this is your front elevation they're telling you you're viewing it from here so since this one they've not specified your end elevation obviously it can be this one or that one but for practice take this so take this as your front take this as your end elevation and plan obviously you are viewing it from above there for this one front elevation let it be this one so you are viewing this from this side as your front and then take this as your end elevation and then the plan which is the one you viewed on top there okay so in the next video we are going to look at so in the next video we shall look at isometric projection thank you for watching